Correct. Make sure. Oh, we got axe. This is a rare treat here for you guys. We're giving you guys a, a little bit of a taste of, of axe here, and going to be a lot of questions here uh, in this run, right? Like, you know, what can axe still do? You know, is there still has he reached his ceiling as a competitor, or can he still push the bounds of this character even further? Because there's no question, obviously, that he is not only a pioneer but the the overall master of this character. No one's better. Yeah. But how much further can he push it? He's and beaten some of the best in the world, but can he keep beating them? Barely missing out on top eight of Genesis last week in a heartbreaker last stock versus Mango. Yeah. Just basically got plot mangoed, but yeah, so we'll uh, we'll see here. You know, everybody's kind of out here for redemption a little bit. Axe is one of those players too, where you just can never underestimate him. You can never count him out, even though he is playing Pikachu. But him and Mango always seem to have great sets these these, these, these past few years, right? They have. Axe and winning Summit, you know, I mean, man, it has been some uh, good years recently. And then also just, we were talking about a pioneer of the character, but then a player like Tyler Swift, local boy, um, absolutely is, oh, man, Axe that is amazing. amazing. Amazing player. Amazing snapping to the ledge, I mean. But Axe is also such a motivator for people who want to go the other route and say, I want to be as good as you doing it my way. And if there wasn't Axe, I don't think Tyler would have even developed the opposite style as well. So I think that just like when you're talking about this character, Axe is maybe done more for Pikachu than anyone has for Definitely. any character up there with like Amza and Yoshi. It's like that. Certainly. You know, it's, Axe is Pikachu. Yeah, Look at him. Pika but, Pika. I but I respect the, uh, like you said, the innovators rather than the imitators. Those yeah. people who want to create their own mark with this character instead of just trying to copy Axe's style because nobody can do this like Axe. And rather come along and play a character like this is because he's the only one that can do it. So if you want to play Pikachu, you've got to find your style. You've got to create your own path. Yeah. <laughs> but definitely watch those Axe Vods. <laughs> I hate to, I, you know, I, I do hate to keep the matchup, actually. Yeah, no, surprised that Up Smash didn't kill. We would have basically an even last stock here, but, oh, getting grabbed by Axe near the ledge oh, usually doesn't tough, end well. Oh, this is huh? Wow. He did it like that, too. That was so crispy. I like the way Fudge has been playing his lasers, too. He's making sure to, ha when he is trying to pull up that gun, he's making sure there's enough space in between him so that Axe cannot just, on reaction to the, the laser or the jump, close that distance, get a knockdown or something. Lasers are probably one of the hardest tools in the game to utilize well, um, right. while also being one of the strongest tools in the game. Yeah, exactly. There's a high ceiling there for the understanding of the character. and. You know, we're seeing that, you know, Mango, who acts is just coming off of playing at the highest level, that's what he does best. The thing that he does best is knowing when something is kind of, like, safe to do right in front of you and when it's not. Uh, and Fudge showing a very similar awareness of those lasers. But now the set is ticking away from him as we go down the... Oh! Unfortunate. Stretch. Unfortunate. Yeah. Commentator's curse. We, yeah. we talked him up a little too much. You know? <laughs> What's crazy, um, I don't know if he stopped doing it or if like I just haven't seen it, but the Bobby Big Ball special used to be sleeping at mm -hmm. every tournament. Yeah. Like even at the locals and the, the cave and stuff like that, he'd just be slumped on one of the GX racers. And if you actually watch one of the old like slime on the scenes, right. like before Bobby Big Balls is known, he walks by a sleeping Bobby Big Balls like in shine. Uh, I mean, how many times have you walked into a Smash tournament and just seen mad people sleeping? <laughs> like, I walked in on day one yesterday and there was somebody sleeping at 1 p.m. I'm like, dude, it's 1 day p.m. One. Yeah, it hasn't even started yet. Trying not to sleep on them is uh, off to a strong start. Yeah, here too. Axe is not going to. Someone we haven't talked about yet is uh, is Axe, who is really, I think, has a lot to prove this event. Oh I was my talking gosh. about the same thing. Yeah. You know, it's like Axe not letting him get any breathing room as the match starts and gets Ooh. a strong stock lead and he continues to build yeah. percentage. Right now, as we speak, he's looking for another day. Oh, but reversal, you, though. You've got to be so careful with Axe. He, yeah. he, if you give him an inch, he will utilize it. Absolutely. Because of his tail, because of his mm -hmm. knockback. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, like... The Axe is such a creative edge guarder, too. And that's what really helps him in this matchup a lot. <gasps> oh, big read. Commentator's blessing right there. That's the, right. The opposite of the curse. However, the the big creativity there, grabbing ledge. Hey. Yomi, that's probably Yomi Keep layer like five. Keep it simple, yeah. Yeah, that's right. If it, don't, if it ain't broke, buy a Honda Civic. <laughs> this stream brought to you by... No. Uh, Japanese ooh. flag emoji in the chat. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Misses that. I, I feel like maybe he's losing a little bit of confidence and I, then going for things that maybe are less guaranteed. I'm going to keep it real with you, Jorge. I kind of called this before this set, did I not? Yeah. I, I kind of said that, you know, there was a chance that Axe could tilt him, but this is Bobby's, like... Yeah. Off the, the, the rust, though, you know, Axe is... Is like, of course, we know he can do it. It's a matter of unlocking it. He is also a world class player. It's just, I think, been frustrating for him to see himself play so shaky when he's really got expectations for himself. 
100%, but how long can that Russ narrative keep going when he's no. like he just played at the high? I'm reading the body language of the players too. Like I, you know. It's oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you can you can kind of see in Bobby's eyes right now that he is uh, he's in the lead. Axe also he's got hope in his eyes still. He's a fighter. <laughs> you guys hanging in there. Oh, right they're back. Oh, they're back on our preview screen. Let's get them back on the main it's feed, please. It's two stocks Thank to one production. on FD. Oh, but Bobby Big Ball's in an edge guard situation. Oh, Axe is the F tilt. That's that's the confidence, Wait, baby. Reverse the, there. How did he get in the lead? Guy. Look in this set would imply that Bobby has homies. I was about to say it's it's <laughs> it's mostly S Bob. Yeah. Oh, I and love that. Oh, oh the brilliance! But he's ad he's adapting so fast. Bobby, brilliant boy. Oh, they're flying this is a back set, and baby. forth. This is a set right here. One minute in. Four stocks gone from these two players. That early side B means that he's not getting edge guarded, but he's still in a bad position right now. Axe is not letting up, and he's got us. Uh, oh my goodness, here. it's starting to slow down oh, a little bit here. Oh. But no, it's not. Axe, I lied. Axe! He's back on stage, and this is a significant, a significant lead here now for Axe. Axe wants to keep this momentum. Oh, barely misses the tail spike there. But I think he's got his confidence back. That soft air is so risky. A lot of momentum on Axe's side in the Randall! Game, but it's like every oh, time. Oh! Oh! Like Randall! Randall! Oh! Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. They I'm both really sure my wanted it. Is out. They wanted it so bad. Did we clip? I don't know. I think we clipped. Are we back? We clipped it up majorly from that first game. He's absolutely moving and he's allowing himself to play aggressively now. I think he was kind of hanging back and let Bobby dictate a little too much earlier on, but now he's the one pressing the action all over That's Bobby. Right, yes. Oh, okay. A little bit of a flub. Let's see if it costs him that much. No, Axe back in control. And is this an up smash? It is. Oh, actually living off the top. Falco's a fat bird. And that's just such a Chad decision to up smash. Yeah, the platform, shield there. Like, that's got to be. Yeah, yeah. Momentum behind him right now. And he is trying to crush Bobby because Bobby can Shout take back this momentum at any time. <laughs> Shout outs to all the tarnish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bobby actually. Oh, now homie. That's a homie stop. Clear homie. Now that is an obvious homie stop. However, I think it get it's marginal benefit for Axe because he's up a stock and up a game. Well, that's so the mental damage. And I the think. good PR. And the good PR? As if that's you're, right. As if you're not going in, first of all, Axe is one of the most Axe, beloved melee Axe players of all time. Yeah. And he's going into a set against Bobby Big Balls. I think we know who's gonna be the face and the heel in this situation. Mm -hmm. But you know, just a little bit of a just a little bit of cheap uh, cheap pop there from uh, from Axe. Ooh, barely gets out and Axe and stage a little bit. Bobby starting to go high. We'll see if Axe starts to catch up on that or catch on. But I don't know if uh, there's gonna be quite as well as he was in that first game. He's not avoiding a lot of the Pikachu traps. Yes, that's right. And even now, like, some, some mental traps. Wow, Bobby Big Ball, sick reverse He's got back some air life combo. In this game right that's here. right. It is do or die for Bobby and winners, and he does not want to drop down. He could lose to anyone Man. down there. Is that going to be it? Sicko mode DI right ah! there. Keeps him alive. Absolute corner. Oh, oh! he's getting so custom with it, but is it going to cost him? That tech was so crucial, but the Nair, I think, will seal the deal. Axe takes a 3 1. Gets a little too custom. Too custom with Just, it. You know, I, I think this is going to be a big test for Axe because while they both, you know, have a lot to prove and we're not sure exactly what to expect from both of them in this matchup, um, Leffen, we still know, is a beast. Dude, uh, you don't want to see Leffen on Surgeon Simulator. <laughs> He's nasty with the scalpel. <laughs> We'll see how nasty is he is here, but the damage is already coming out. It's so hard to get damage on Pikachu or like combo him, but that was a pretty creative like up air already. And the crouch is coming out. Shield the eye forward to not get shield step by the Pikachu. Uh, Pikachu's got his own blender. The down tilt, the four tilt, the down smash. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of stuff that crouch cancel four tilt. There's a lot of stuff that it's going to get you out of early on and already paying dividends. For left. Wow. Explosive start from left and not only explosive in like finding the damage, but also so so good at answering the defensive right. like with punishing. Efficiency you know? too. He doesn't tend when he's in control, he doesn't let people drag on or let people live. He finishes off as soon as they're in kill percent. And able to get that forward smash. No DI that can save you there. Left and so, or sorry, Axe is so good at cleaning up stocks at various percents too. At lower percents, he's great at edge guarding and gimping. I mean, you have to be with Pikachu. Oh wow! Speaking of uh, clean kill stock, options, no damage. Yeah. Clean Leffen, stock, no damage from left. Left and got that soft. I think it was a uh, either a forward air or a nair into up smash. That's one of the uh, like oh. 
Oh, 11 stalls for so long, but Axe still gets the edge guard. Ooh, the up throw, not getting get much off that platform tech chase. Oh, he's like weaving in between the timings of the up, air, up tilt. <gasps> the F smash, the disjointed hitbox able to. It's crazy because Leffen is playing so well and then Axe just takes the momentum right back ah! every time. But if the oh. trend continues of Leffen taking the first oh. stop. Oh. oh, gets a grab right now. Forward throw, jab, oh, the, the F tilt. tilt. Oh, he, he waits, he waits. He waits. You knew. That's game one. You left. knew as Dude. soon as he went off stage, the Axe was not going to mess that up. We've seen him miss a little bit of those like up Bs now, particularly like that Genesis Mango set. But um, it's cl really clear that Axe's adaptation is still so world class. Weapon. That's a really fast one, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's hard at that percent. Oh, crazy SDI on the drill. Shield drop, yeah. Nair from, from Axe. Ooh, build some percent here. I love that jab. That is so sneaky. I from Leffen to not be in a position where he gets tail spike. But the forward throw here, dangerous from Axe. Catches! Leffen goes to game two with that strong statement there at the end. Oh my gosh. Okay. Good DI read. Yeah, oh my gosh. I could not believe that, actually. It looked like it wasn't going to kill. <gasps> Shield step! Uh-oh! Okay, in that situation as well, Leffen is by the edge, and so uh, and so Pikachu is actually moving back, because when you get hit by a multi-hit move like that, you very slightly get pushed away. Axe back in the mix now. Zip, zip, he's back. A little, little timing issue there from Leffen, yeah. I think. I like that Leffen goes for... Whoa, the platform is... That's Short enough? Straight up super read right there. Buffalo. And he's got a Buffalo, a bevy of option, a, a cornucopia of moves to hit Axe with. Dearth. Wait, <laughs> Dearth means nothing. Dirth a virtual smorgasbord <laughs> of strong hitboxes. He's throwing down on Axe uh, right now, and yeah. he's going to take game three. We will kill. And the changes from game one in terms of his approach to just the neutral in this matchup, right? Just a slight dial, dialing in a little bit, just kind of overwhelming Pikachu with those hitboxes we were just talking about at the end of the last game. Now, uh, additionally, I think a big part of why Leffen was so convincing that last game, no way. Oh my gosh. And off to a really strong start. As this game, is, as this set has gone on, he's just become more and more confident, more and more in control of the of the neutral, and really dictating most aspects of this match Ooh, now. Okay, so important for Axe. A yeah. big reason a why. A big statement for Axe. Go right. ahead. Yeah. Must see melee. Okay. That could be a your catch I'm as well drunk, if you yeah, want okay, that one. You. <laughs> gonna, gonna, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, Axe is, or Leffen is trying to see if he can get any more up there. Is that back air really surprised me? I think it surprised Axe as well. <gasps> what? That back air connects on the weird Pikachu up I don't know what's more there. surprising, the fact that it connected or the fact that Axe survived. Oh my gosh. Oof. He go, he wave lands onto the platform looking That's for gnarly. a shield drop. That's yeah. <gasps> oh, catches him with the fair. The left, oh, left inside piece to Insta that he doesn't get to the ledge. You're, you know. No, Leffen is just like, don't get cheesed, don't get cheesed, let him back, whatever, don't get cheesed. Oh, okay, Leffen. The magical percent pays off for Leffen oh. there in that last set, yeah. and wow. Um, so I think this could be, I want to say slightly Axe favored, uh, but you know, Axe hasn't been playing in a while, and none, none did have a hot Genesis run, so... Uh, Highest, it, the whole uh, kind of Mimi conjecture is that Mario does well versus Falcon, can't hit him. Yeah. <laughs> Can't grab him. Oh. Oh, he's thinking of getting grabbed. Yeah, trying to get the back throw. Um, Pikachu back throw just drags you to the edge of the stage. Up here at the top. Right? Yeah. I think a bit more than uh, a Wizzy. It's like the double stomp reading uh, Axe's wake up there. Um, ooh. Mm, oh, no. Wrong hit. And that mm. will clip the ledge. Against oh, Falco. Whoa. Yeah, that was a cool one. Um, but yeah, not a lot of Pikachus. I know that SFAT's roommate years ago, he's he's notoriously. Oh, no. I oh asked, no, an SD that's from really him. rough. Oh, homie! None not, is a homie. None would be the person to do that. Yeah. Like like certain players, I think, are more likely to homie stock. Uh, none would. None would. <laughs> certain players are most definitely more likely to homie stock. <laughs> yeah.
There's some players who I would bet a thousand dollars on them ever homie stalking. Yes. Them. Yeah. <laughs> We're not gonna name them, but we. I think we know. Honestly, it's just most of them. Most of them. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like <laughs> stock. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it takes a lot of carpools. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, not quite. Great DI from Axe right there. I mean, I would have definitely bet on that taking it. Scary. Yeah. Yep. F. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Great ledge grab. Yeah. Um, Golden Gardens, very, very much so repping. Toph, PP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, great group. Great content, yeah. yeah. Oh, got the jump. This is chain grab here. Oh, oh. stubby, stubby. <laughs> very stubby. Yeah. Pikachu, not a good a character with a good dash grab either. Yeah. A lot better than a um, Mewtwo jump cancel grab, though, or da boost grab. You ever it, seen that? No. Ooh. I'll try to get the reverse there. But this is one of the best FD chain grabs. Um, it, to the point where Axe just kind of is freestyling with it now. You, yeah. you can get like either chain grab on the stage into up smash, or when they DI off the stage, you get double nair. So, um, yeah, very strong there. We really kind of have none uh, fade back to ledge, but also good DI in that pair from none smash. afterwards. And Okay, I, I was just double checking something. If these certain characters, can you confirm this? Because Falcon is not in, in Smash 64, but I was pretty sure that in Melee, the Hourglass, like when they go into the Hourglass, when they're getting KO'd. Oh my goodness, amazing wow. combo from Axe. Oh wow, up four to socks of one. You're, this counter pick you're talking about is great. Here's when they're in the Hourglass, have their N64 models, like really? in the little in the little circle. Yeah, like I think Donkey Kong, for example. Oh. Something. Somebody uh, looks like crashed into a camera. The, temp the axe cam went down for a sec. <laughs> We're back though. Mm. Right space. Oh, yep. Okay. Yep. That's that's the nun. None I, does I think do he that. did that at Genesis yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> I respect it. Both these players are also so. I feel like uh, if you are t axe and if you are nun, both players are fun to play against oh, as competitors. Yes. It's just you know you go into the set and you're like you don't have to worry about them being mad after you know you have oh, yeah. to, you know these are. Uh, some fun, fun games that always oh. happen with him and Axe right now, showing how much fun he is having. That <laughs> double up air. Of Falcon Pikachu versus Falcon Fox. Is Falcon can really kind of zone out uh, Pikachu in the scrap. Oh my god! Beautiful combo. Got me clapping Whoa. behind the commentator desk right now. If anyone can just delete stocks, it's Falcon. Oh. Non stock. Deletion? Oh my god. Are we getting control? Oh! Alt. Oh, Delete. that's neat. Let's Whoa. go! None absolutely says cut, paste in trash bin, recycle bin, <laughs> empty it. Oh my gosh. Shorts. Um, Hex, Hex has gotten back sometimes because Pikachu's cover is so good, but yeah. like, none has a pretty good uh, conversion, right? Oh, great drop. So Nair, and will this do it? Yep, wow. that's the perfect hitbox. That tail spike is uh, one of my, I, it's one of my favorite moves in the game, honestly. Yeah. Oh. That and Titman. Mm. Double knee. Yeah, there's good CC right now from Nun. We've been seeing some uh, SDI down on these dashes, and it's right. been helping out a lot when he gets nared with these low percents. And Nun converting, using every moment of crouch cancel percent to maximum efficiency and he had that timing right just little miss execution uh. <laughs> well there we go none takes it 3-1 over axe been on an absolute tear in these past couple majors